Kinsner in trouble, flares it out, and he's got Borowski. Borowski with a first down. Borowski down at the 36-yard line of Pitt. Quentin Jones on the stop. A great call. 16-yard pickup for Penn State. Well, there we were. One we hadn't seen. A little play action to the fullback. Pressure from that side, and he got loose in the secondary. They'll need two more of those to get into field goal range. No timeouts left. 32 ticks left on the clock. Intercepted by the Pitt Panthers, Billy Owens. Billy Owens will score. A 70-yard interception return for number one, Billy Owens. But there are penalty flags down on the field. Craig Hayward taking over his running back spot. Shifted over the defense. A 70-yard interception return for an apparent touchdown. But there are flags, and they are against Penn State. The touchdown will stand. steps in front of this cross the field pass. Tim, it's only fitting that the secondary would have an interception and score the icing touchdown. They played so well all night. Owens is an All-American candidate with a rebuilt knee. He was all East last year. One of the great ones in the country. A big part of the fourth rated secondary in the nation. The extra point try to make it a 10-0 game. Flags are down. For Billy Owens, he had four interceptions last year. Two of those were returned for touchdowns. And there he is. His first interception. One play for the point. His first interception on the year for Billy Owens. Couldn't have come at a better time. Boy, this game belonged to the defense. We've called Gatson's number, 26, Osaski all night long. And Billy Owens with a career interception. The senior out of Syracuse. Jeff Van Horn, who staked the Pitt Panthers to that 3 0 lead. Out of the hold of Billy Osborne. And it is 10 0 Pittsburgh. second year watching the interception and watching Billy Owens streaking down that sideline said all right head to the north end zone sorority party going on right down here on the artificial surface. Well, remember, this will be the first win since 1969 for Pittsburgh in this stadium over Penn State. And that's cause for celebration, I guess, apparently. Well, and I think it also throws the bowl picture into an interesting uh, quandary. The uh, Panthers now go to 7-3. Pittsburgh has beaten Penn 
Penn State. They've beaten Notre Dame right here. Penn State will go to 7-3, the defending national champions. Well, you know that both Pitt and Penn State will be bowl bound. Well, Penn State's got Notre Dame next week. Pitt has Penn State. Pittsburgh. Our Hartford player of the game, number 55 for Pittsburgh, Jerry Osofsky. 15 tackles, one sack, one fumble recovery, and a big pass broken up late in the game to help preserve an apparent 10-0 Pittsburgh upset over Penn State. There he is, number 55, Osofsky. Led Pitt in tackles last year. Fourteen seconds left to go. Penn State trails by ten. Last one was picked off. Matt reloads, fires, puts up a floater and a Hail Mary. And this one is batted down and picked off again. Danny Crossman, the sophomore. Four seconds left. And they may not get to play these next four seconds. A cavalry charge from the end zone. Student body left in the form of a lot of Pitt Panthers. Final thoughts, Kevin. Well, I'd just like to say hats off to Quentin Jones and Gary Richard because, as we pointed out during the game, they played man-to-man -man coverage all night against Penn State. While Joe Paterno's guys weren't real imaginative, those two corners allowed the other nine guys to stop the running game. And, Jim, that was the difference in this game. They shut out Penn State using nine guys on the line of scrimmage. A great man, a great coach, and two national championships to his credit. Joe Paterno, one of the true gentlemen in college sports over several decades. And a young man whose career is on the way up, Mike Gottfried, who's helping to turn this program around at Pitt. A big upset. He's beaten Notre Dame this year. Now he upset the defending national champions. For Kevin Kiley, I'm Jim Kelly. Good night from Pittsburgh.